For today's uh, CNP video series, I'll be discussing heart conditions. So what I'm gonna do is go through a few theories of service connection for a heart condition. Then I'm gonna review the relevant regulation with you, and then I'll go over a heart DBQ. Uh, a DBQ is just a disability benefits questionnaire. It's basically a form the VA exam will complete at your CNP um, exam. Service connection of a heart condition. There's multiple ways to service connect a heart condition. I'll just provide a few examples here. Say for example, a veteran has ischemic heart disease. Uh, ischemic heart disease, there is presumptive service connection. Uh, this is for if the veteran had was exposed to Agent Orange and he has a diagnosis of ischemic heart disease, it will be awarded service connection. There is also presumptive service connection under uh, 38 CFR section 3.309. This is for chronic conditions that developed within a year of active duty service. Uh, this would also apply to ischemic heart disease. Those are the two presumptive uh, service connections for heart conditions, um, but there's also other theories you could pursue. For example, um, secondary or aggravation based theories. Uh, for example, maybe a veteran has service connected diabetes and he also has a service connected PTSD with alcohol use disorder. Um, again, diabetes and alcohol use can both lead to um, or aggravate and make worse uh, heart conditions. So basically the veteran would be claiming here his drinking and his diabetes caused his heart condition or his drinking and his diabetes are making his heart condition worse. Uh, that would be the aggravation based theory, that last one I discussed. Um, that's everything for my example, theories of service connection for heart conditions, just to give you an idea of what's out there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to the regulation. Now I'm going to discuss the regulations and those regulations will outline how heart conditions such as coronary artery disease are evaluated. So that is 38 CFR section 4.104, the schedule of ratings for cardiovascular system. Conditions like coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease will be evaluated based on the general rating formula for diseases of the heart. Um, as you'll see in the rating schedule here, uh, basically there's this thing called METS. What is METS? It's metabolic equivalent testing. And so based on when you have heart failure symptoms, at what level of um, metabolic equivalent testing will determine your evaluation. Um, you'll explain more when we go over the DBQ what exactly this METS means or this metabolic equivalent testing. Uh, but that's exactly how the heart conditions are rated. There's not too much here. Um, I'll explain more in the DBQ and it'll all make more sense there. So what I'm going to do now is review the heart DBQ with you. Uh, page one is not that important. Uh, page one, the VA examiner is just going to state that your records were reviewed and he might make any small comments about your medical history. There's not going to discuss too much here. Uh, page two is important. It's going to note the diagnoses. Uh, here you'll see there's many different types of heart conditions to include uh, coronary artery disease, cardiomyopathy, uh, these kind of things, congestive heart failure. And it's only relevant depending on what condition you checked off. For this example today, I'm going to be uh, operating on the assumption the veteran has like ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease. Um, in those cases, this page is not going to be that important, so you're going to continue down and you're going to keep scrolling. Um, all the way down to page seven and eight. So page seven and eight here, you're gonna see exactly what I was talking about before. That's the metabolic equivalent testing or METS testing. Um, here, the VA examiner, theoretically, they could do a um, exercise stress test. So they theoretically could put, for example, a veteran on a treadmill and make him walk and see if it results in heart failure symptoms, or they could uh, do some other form of physical exercise. But for VA purposes, almost every time there's going to be just the interview based test. And so you'll see that at the bottom of page seven here. And so what the examiner is going to do is simply ask you, you know, uh, give you a physical activity. For example, maybe when you are mowing the lawn with a power mower, um, do you ever experience uh, breathlessness, uh, fatigue, angina, uh, dizziness, these kind of things? These are heart failure symptoms. And so your rating is going to be determined based on when you have these heart failure symptoms at what level of exertion. And you'll see on this DBQ here, there's 7 to 10 METs, 5 to 7 METs, 3 to 5 METs, and 1 to 3 METs. Um, and the 1 to 3 you'll see is the most basic of activities. For example, uh, eating, dressing, taking a shower. So if you're going to have chest pains, you're going to be dizzy, you're going to be out of breath doing those, you'll go over to the rating schedule and you'll see that that will translate to a 100% rating because you have heart failure symptoms doing the most basic of activities. Um, whereas maybe you have heart failure symptoms only when you're running upstairs or um, riding a bike or sawing wood or jogging around the block. 
that would be seven to 10 minutes. And again, if you go back to that rating schedule uh, for the general rating formula for diseases of the hearts, uh, you'll see that that's a 10% evaluation. Uh, but that's everything we have here. It's just to be aware of uh, specific activities that uh, translate to a certain metabolic equivalent testing uh, value. And so you know this way if, for example, um, you know, you are mowing the lawn or you are doing uh, weeding your garden and you know you had heart failure symptoms, this is important to report at the CNP exam. Tell the doctor, while I was doing yard work, for example, just weeding the garden, I felt dizzy, I had chest pains, I got very tired these kind of things, that'll ensure you're actually evaluated at the proper rating um, once the uh, VA adjudicators review the CNP exam. Right, so that's the end of my video today. Uh, if you look below the video, you'll find uh, web links to the uh, regulations and you'll also find a link to the relevant DBQ. Um, also below the video, you can post any comments if you have any questions. Um, that's everything I have for you today. Thanks, bye.